Hello, friends! Today we're going to play! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Fufa and Tootie are already playing with some baby dolls. Look! <laughs> hey, look at little Susie! She's jumping up and down! She's a little jumper! Hey, what are you guys doing? Are those... Ba babies? Yeah, hi, Broby! These are our baby dolls. This is little baby Susie. And this is little baby Heidi. Say hi, baby Heidi. Well, I think that's for babies, to play with babies. No, it isn't, Broby. Babies are special. We love babies. Yeah, babies are cute and special. You were a baby once too, Broby. I am not a baby. We know, Broby. You aren't a baby now, but you were a baby. Did you let? Hey! Whoa! Hello, Broby. What can I do for you? Was I a baby once? Yes, Broby, you were. And so was Tootie, Fufa, and Muno. But I don't remember that. Well, this could help you remember, Broby. I have some videos of all of you when you were babies. Do you guys want to see some? Yeah! yeah! <laughs> okay, it's so much fun. Because at one time, we were all babies. Babies, babies, we were a small and cute babies. Babies, remember when we were all babies. Watch this, Broby. It's Baby Muno. When Muno was a baby, he loved his favorite toys. He had a rubber buggy. And a truck that made a noise. There he is, Baby Muno. <laughs> babies, babies, we were all small and cute babies. Babies, remember when we were all babies? Now let's look at Fufa. When Fufa was a baby, she loved to crawl around. She loved to feel the plants and flowers growing from the ground. Oh, baby Fufa, how cute! <laughs> babies, babies, we were small and cute babies. Babies, remember when we were all babies? Time for you, Tootie. When Tootie was a baby, she spent time in the pen, where she learned to stand and jump and dance all the way back when. Look at you go, Tootie! Yeah! Watch you, Broby. When Broby was a baby, he was so very small. But he loved to sit and play with his little red ball. That's my little Broby. <laughs> I was so little and cute and funny. <laughs> Babies, huh? Yeah, Broby, babies are so cool! And we should love them and take care of them! But DJ Lance, were you a baby too? I sure was, Broby. Watch this! Yo Gabba Gabba! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> babies are Thank you. 
And today, we are going to draw some eggs in a nest. Okay, let's draw one. First, let's draw a couple of eggs. Egg number one, egg number two. There we go. Now let's draw a nest. A nest is made of a bunch of tiny branches, kind of like this. <laughs> that looks like a nest to me. Not too shabby. Whoa, what do you know? The eggs are hatching. These baby birds look hungry. Wait a second, I'm hungry too. Well, thanks for drawing with us today. See you later. Mommy bird. Cheep, cheep. Hello again. Babies are so much fun, but they are very small and need lots of special care. Hey, DJ Lance. What is it, Broby? Why do babies need special care? Good question, Broby. Well, there's Muno. Maybe we could ask him. Ask me what? Why do babies need special care? Well, cause, oh, uh, it's hard to explain. Oh, hey. Maybe we could go to my house and ask my mom and dad how they take care of my baby brother, Gogo. <laughs> That's a great idea, Muno. Okay, that'll be fun. Okay, let's all go. Yeah! <laughs> all right. All right. It's not too far from here. Go. Now, let's see who's home. Oh, hello, DJ Lance Rock. And hello, Muno and Broby. You're back early from Gabaland. Yeah, Dad. We wanted to see how you take special care of baby Gogo. Oh, I see. Sure. DJ Lance, will you open the house? Sure. There you go. Mommy, the boys are here to see baby Gogo. Hello, boys. So you want to see how we take care of baby Gogo? Yeah! Well, we have to help him do everything. We have to help him eat to get clean. We even have to help him move around. Let me explain. Babies need our help. Babies need our help. They need us to help. Walk, so they need our help to show them the way. Like this. Okay, go go. Come on, yeah, go go. There you go, no, go go. No, no, no. Yeah. Yes, babies can talk, so they need our special help to show. help to eat it. So let's help. Like this. There's a big boy. Now Broby, come over here and help me feed Gogo. Okay, yeah! Okay, now be very gentle. Nice and easy now. Babies need our help. 
fun. The Super Music Friends Show is on. Here's Solange with Mama Loves Baby. Mama loves baby, baby loves you. Mama is happy, baby is too. Together we are one, together we are one. Mama has warm love hotter than the sun. Baby loves lullabies, mama does too. Baby has sweet dreams that mama sing for you. Together we are one, together we are one. Mama has warm love hotter than the sun. I wonder what Plex and the others are doing back in Gabbleland. Let's go back and check. And this is a flower. Say, flower. Flower. <laughs> what? Plex, who is that? Hello, Tootie and Fufa. This is my baby niece. Her name is Plexi. <laughs> Here, here, it's okay. Oh no, what happened? Yeah, what did we do? Well, Tootie and Fufa, because babies are so little, we have to be careful how loud we get and how close we get to them. We need to move nice and slow so we don't scare babies and make them cry. I feel bad. I'm sorry, Plex. Me too. I'm sorry, Plexi. Plex, maybe we can sing little Plexi a song to cheer her up. That's a great idea, DJ Lance. Let's just give her a little space and stay out of the baby's face. Plexi, they are your friends. Flee, flee? Yes, we are your friends. We want to play with you. Yeah, and we won't get in your face. We know babies need their space. Flower friend. Thank you so much. Hey, little baby, it's gonna be all right. There, there, don't you cry, cause it's all right. We all need to make some space. Stay out of the baby's face.
Betsy looks like she is ready for a nap. Babies also need lots of rest, and naps are always the best. I have a soft, fluffy pillow. And I have a blankie. Hey, little Plexi, don't you cry. Yeah, little Plexi, it's all right. Mm. Time, there was a happy little rabbit family that lived in a house made from a log. They were so excited because very soon they were going to have a new baby bunny in their family. One day at the 4th of July bug parade, the mommy rabbit realized they still hadn't decided on a name for the new baby bunny. Oh dear, whatever should we call our new baby bunny? I've got it. How about Lothar Lightning Hammer? I was thinking more of a family name, like Ignatius Calpaz Donardo. I think her name should be Caratesta Sparklepaws. Let's name the baby Jet Baby Jetpack! But that name's already taken. The poor bunny family did not know what to do. Finally, the special day came when the rabbit family welcomed their new baby bunny into their home. Oh, baby, you are so special. We love you so much. But what should we call you? As the family leaned in to see what the baby would do, the new little baby rabbit looked up at his loving mother and said, The name's George, Ma! Every bunny laughed. <laughs> <laughs> the end. Yo! Hi! It's almost time to go! Aww! But first, let's remember all the fun things we did today! Right. Okay! First, we saw all of our friends when they were babies. Babies! Babies! Remember when we were all babies! Then, Broby helped to feed Muno's baby brother, Gogo. I helped feed baby Gogo. <laughs> Finally, we met Plex's baby niece, Plexi. This is my baby niece. Her name is Plexi. <laughs> it was a fun day full of babies. Yeah! 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 Now it's time to dance. Yeah! Are you ready? Yeah! Well, let's do it. I'll break it down. So much fun. time today. <laughs> Thanks for playing with us. See you next time. Bye. Here we go. 
Yo Gabba Gabba! Hello, everybody. You know, telling stories is one of my favorite things to do. Hey, everyone. Let's gather around for a story. Plex, can you beam me down? OK. <laughs> All right. This story is called a fairy tale. <laughs> this fairy tale is called Jack and the Beanstalk. It's about a boy named Jack, a big beanstalk, and a mysterious giant. DJ Lance! DJ Lance! Can I pretend that I'm in the fairy tale? Me too! I want to be in the fairy tale. Sure! Why don't we all pretend we're in the story? That's a great idea! This is going to be so much fun! Once upon a time, there was a boy named Jack who lived with his father in a faraway land. They had a very special machine that would give them all the beans they needed to eat. But one day, the bean machine stopped working. La 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 la! Oh, hi, Dad! Uh, what's wrong? There you are, Jack. Look, our bean machine is broken. So now we don't have any beans to eat. Oh, no! What are we going to do? Jack, I need you to take this bean machine to get fixed. And remember, if we don't get it fixed, then we can't eat. Razzle dazzle! I'll get the bean machine fixed. I love to eat! Don't worry! You can count on me! I'm on my way, yeah, I'm on my way. On my way, it's an important day. And I know my dad will be, will be proud of me. continued on his journey to fix the bean machine until he came across a mysterious store. Hello there! Where are you going? Hi! I'm on my way to get my bean machine fixed. Do you fix bean machines? Well, not really, but we have something better than a bean machine. Yeah! We have these magic beans! Magic beans? Well, what are magic beans? Magic beans are very special. Yeah! They'll give you whatever you want because they're magic! Magic? Whatever I want? Wow! Can I trade you this broken bean machine for your two magic beans? It's a deal! Now remember, the most important part of magic is believing. Yeah! You have to believe in magic or it won't work. I believe in magic! I believe! Good luck! Razzle Dazzle! I can't wait to show my dad magic beans! Yeah! My name is Rita! I like to dance! Listen to a fairy tale about a princess who was up in a tower A sneaky dragon flew along With a plan to Take her back to his castle But he didn't know She had a magical tooth And after she smiled He turned into a golden goose The village band had heard the news About this golden goose And decided to steal him Buckled up his flying shoes the top of the tower 
How is everyone enjoying the fairy tale so far? So fun! I love it! I can't wait to see what happens next. What happens next, DJ Lance? We'll just have to wait and see, Broby. Now, where were we? Ah, yes. Jack came running home very excited about his magic beans. Wow! That was really fast! Is our bean machine already fixed? I have something better than our bean machine. Just look. I traded our broken bean machine for these two magic beans. Jack, these don't even look like magic beans. They're not even big enough to eat. I'm very disappointed that you traded our bean machine for two beans. But, but Dan, those were magic beans. Now Jack, we're both going to go to bed without dinner. Then tomorrow, we'll have to try to get our bean machine back. Good night now. I thought the beans were magic. I thought they would give us beans to eat forever. Magic beans, magic beans. I thought they were magic beans. Now they're gone, now they're gone. Oh, I guess that I was wrong. I almost forgot. It's time for the Super Music Friends show to start. Yeah! yeah. Uh, what? Can you make this bigger? Sure! It's a fairy tale song by the Flaming Lips. See if you can be a frog. Can you be a bat? See if you can be a lion Can you be a deal monster? Can you be a bumblebee? Can you be a helicopter? See if you can be a wolf Can you be a finch? Can you be a jaguar? If you can be a monkey Can you be a tiger? Can you be a tornado? Knocking down your wires Well, it seems like you can be anything Any kind of creature you 
dancing to music is awesome! Wow! This is such a great story, everyone! Did you learn? The magic beans grew into sprouts. But what do the sprouts grow into? Great question, Broby. Let's keep reading and find out. As Jack lay sleeping, the beans began to grow and grow until they became a giant beanstalk. Whoa! <laughs> Razzle dazzle! <laughs> a giant magic bean beanstalk! I believed, and the magic really happened! so big! And it goes all the way into the sky! Hello, Jack! Whoa! Oh, uh, uh, hi! It's, it's okay. okay. We're, We're just, just friendly beanstalks. Oh, wow! You look really tall! We sure are! And we're big enough for you to climb up! At the very top, there's a magical place to visit with really friendly people! A magical place? Friendly people? Maybe I could get a new bean machine there! Climb up our beanstalk. The beanstalk, the beanstalk. Climb on up our beanstalk. The beanstalk, the beanstalk. Climbing up to a magic place. Meet new friends and find a new bean machine. Jack climbed and climbed and climbed until at last he reached the top of the clouds and the top of the beanstalk. Look at all these green. machine looked like Jack's broken bean machine, only it was made of gold. Jack loves beans, and he loves gold, so he wanted to take the bean machine home with him. But before he could take it, he heard something off in the distance. I wonder what that sounds from. B fi fo fa. Now this isn't very fun. B fi fo fa. A big, big giant. Oh my! B fi fo fa. I can look, I better hide. B fa fo fa. What a nice day in my magic place with my giant friends and my golden bean machine. <laughs> the giant was looking the other way. So Jack decided to take the golden bean machine back home with him. This is my chance. I'll just take this golden bean machine and hurry home. I'll take this bean machine fast. The giant there will sneak past. Climbing down the beanstalk. The beanstalk, the beanstalk. Climbing fast, I can't walk. You can't walk, you can't walk. Be five, four, four. I smell someone really small. Be five, four, four. Where's my golden bean machine? Hey, my bean machine is missing. Oh, no. I gotta follow that beanstalk. The golden bean machine is my best friend. What a great day. Went to a magic place with giant things and got a new bean machine. Yeah! I got the golden bean machine. Now we can eat beans forever. Hooray! My name is Cherie. Everyone, today we're going to do the DJ Lance dance. So everyone stand up. Come on, let's dance. Now today, we're going to climb the beanstalk. Here we go. Put your arms up very high, then pull yourself up to the sky. We're going to climb the beanstalk. We're going to climb the beanstalk. Climb the beanstalk. We're going to climb the beanstalk. Put your arms up very high, then pull yourself up to the sky. We're gonna climb the beanstalk. We're gonna climb the beanstalk. Yeah! All right! Did you Lance? Why did Jack take the gold bean machine? Maybe he thought he could eat the gold beans, Broby. But you can't eat gold. 
Let's read the rest of the story and see what happens. Jack was really excited that he had the gold bean machine, and Tully heard a giant sound on the beanstalk. Fee, fi, fo, fam! Oh no! The giant! What do I do? What do I do? Whoa! This beanstalk's too small for a giant like me! Whoa! Now where's my golden bean machine? Oh, there you are, my favorite golden bean machine. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, here you go, Mr. Giant. Thanks. Hey, what's going on out here? Oh, wow, hello. Who are you? I'm just a friendly giant. I was looking for my golden bean machine down here, and this boy took it. Jack, did you take that gold bean machine from this nice giant? Uh, there was this beanstalk, and, uh, and, 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 and then there were magic, and then it grew, and we were hungry, and there were these gold beans, and they sparkled, and, and, and... Jack, you can tell us what happened. It'll be okay. Okay. I took the magic bean machine. It wasn't mine, and I took it. I'm really, really sorry, though, and I know never to take other people's things. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm so, I'm so sorry. things without asking. Okay! It was not mine, so I should not take it. Let's work this out. We can forgive one another. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm so, I'm so sorry. We can fix it. We can make it better. Yeah! <laughs> Jack, you can't even eat golden beans. They're too hard to chew, and they taste terrible. Well, I guess you're right. Well, they just look so shiny. Well, look around you. You don't need a bean machine. This beanstalk has enough beans to last a long, long time. Wow, <laughs> you're right. Sure, we, we have, have plenty of beans, beans on here. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! Oh, <laughs> we can eat! Jack learned that you shouldn't take things that aren't yours. His dad was proud of him for giving the bean machine back to the giant. And everyone lived happily ever after. The end. there? Banana. Banana who? Banana split. So I screamed. Knock, knock, joke of the day. Yo! Hi! It's almost time to go. Aww. But first, Let's remember all the fun things we did today. Okay. First, we read a fairy tale where Jack traded his bean machine for magic beans. Can I trade you this broken bean machine for your two magic beans? It's a deal. Then, Jack was sad because he thought the magic beans weren't magic. I thought the beans were magic. I thought they would give us beans to eat forever. Then, the beans grew into a beanstalk. So big! Finally, Jack was sorry that he took the giant's bean machine, so he gave it back to him. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, here you go, Mr. Giant. All right. Today sure was an exciting day. Yeah! Now it's time to dance. Yeah! Are you ready? Yeah! Well, let's do it. I'll break it down.
for playing with us. See you next time. Bye! Here we go. Yo, Gabba Gabba! friends. Today we are going to have fun with our little friends, the bugs. I like bugs, and I know someone who really likes bugs. His name is Muno. Let's go see him. Hey! Hello, Mr. Cactus. Hello, Mr. Muno. Uh, who is that? Oh, this is my little cousin, Alberto. Say hello, Alberto. Hello, Mr. Muno. Hi! Uh, have you guys seen any bugs? Oh, yeah. I've seen lots of them today. There's a whole bunch of bugs. They're all over that way. You should go check it out. Oh, cool! Thanks! I love bugs! Yeah, we know. Take it easy, Muno.
my name is Mark, and today we are going to draw an ant farm. An ant farm is a cool place where ants hang out and make tunnels in the dirt. Ant farms start with a box like this. Yep. Next, let's put some dirt in there. Lots of dirt. Dirty dirt. Okay, that's a box full of dirt. And oh yeah, we're gonna need some ants. Ants look like three tiny circles with legs. And this ant's gonna need some friends, so let's add some friends. That's how you draw an ant. Ha, so there you have it. An ant farm and some ants. Whoa, hey look, there they go. Go ants, go. Thanks for drawing with us. See you all next time. Hello again. Hey, I want you to meet a friend of mine. This is Mrs. Beetlebaum. She is a beetle, and a beetle is a type of bug. Yes, that's right. Mrs. Beetlebaum, let's check in on our friends in Gabaland. That would be great. Such a nice man. Aww. Hey, everyone, look at the Oski bugs. They are marching. Where did they go? They went into that hole. Look! Oh! oh wow. on. I wish we were small enough to keep following the Oski bugs. Me too! <sighs> hey! I have an idea! What is it, Muno? I'll show you! Bullet! Whoa! Hey! What is it, Muno? Blacks! Could you make us small like bugs so we can go down into the hole to see the Oski bugs? Yes. Are you ready? Here I go. Yeah! 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 We're small, like little bugs. Thanks, Plex. See you later. Okay, yeah! see ya. Take care. Yeah! Bye now. Yeah! Whoa. Who what? Whoa. Hey guys, who are you? My name's Lemony. Hi, I'm Muno. And these are my friends, Fufa, Tootie, and Broby. Sweet, follow me and I'll show you where all the Oski bugs live. Yeah! yeah! Follow the Oski bugs, follow the little Oski bugs, follow the Oski bugs. Land and teach you a few things. Oh, thank you, Queen. Oh, no need to thank me. Let's go. Oh, yeah! Razzle McDazzle! This is the greatest day of... Oh, uh, because I like bugs! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Hi kids, my name is Mix Master Mike, and this is my cool trick. Oh, it's time for school to begin. Master Mike, and that was my cool trick. Hey, everybody! Muno, Broby, Fufa, and Tootie met a little Oski bug and followed her into Oski bug land. I wonder what they're doing right now. And this is the greatest, most special room in all of Oski Bugland. This is where all the new Oski Bug babies hatch. Oh, oh wow! wow. Oh, cool, but when are they going to hatch already? Wow! They're moving! Yes, they are starting to hatch now. Would you like to hold one? Uh, okay. Oh, wow. Look at he's so small. <laughs> Queen Oski Bug, do all babies come from eggs? No, but some babies do come from eggs, just like baby Oski Bugs. Listen. There are so many beautiful babies and every little bug has babies that all come from eggs. Little baby bugs come from little eggs. Eggs are where the little babies stay warm and grow until they are all ready. Then they hatch and as you can see, little baby bugs come from little eggs. Wow, so, so cute! cute. Birds lay eggs and frogs lay eggs. Just like you. <laughs> so you see, my friends, from eggs hatch little babies. Whether they are bird eggs or little Oski bug eggs, eggs are special because babies are special. Yeah! There are so many beautiful. Well, thank you all for visiting us. Come on, guys, this way. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. It was great meeting you guys. Come back and play sometime. I will. Thanks, Lemony. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Well, hey. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Can you make us big again? Yes! Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! All right! Bugs are awesome! My name's Joey. This is my sister, Sophia. We like to dance. Hey, everyone! The Super 
Your Music Friends Show is on. Here's Weezer with All My Friends Are Insects. friend and it's an earthworm it burrows underground deep within the soil sometimes when it rains it comes out and we talk about our day i have a friend and she's a butterfly she flies from flower to flower drinking sweet nectar with hundreds of friends they sleep up in the trees at night i have a friend and he's a dragonfly he sleeps around all day and and dancing to music is awesome! Story time! Buzzy the bee was a busy little bee, flying back and forth from flower to tree. He helped the flowers by spreading their seeds and making sure fruit trees had just what they need. Now Kyle the kid was a great kid indeed. He would stroll through the forest, helping creatures in need. Kyle loved flowers. He loved bushes and trees. He loved all the critters, but was so scared of bees. One day, Kyle leaned in to smell a flower so sweet. He opened his eyes, and who did he meet? It was Buzzy the bee at the front of his nose. Buzzy stared back, and Kyle just froze. Don't worry now, Kyle. I will not hurt you. Helping these flowers is what I do. See, bees help flowers grow by moving their seeds. So let me do my job. It's important, you see. Buzzy flew off to get more work done, and Kyle went back to his day in the sun. He had learned so much from his tiny new friend, and that without bees, the plant world might end. If you don't bother bees, then they won't bother you. Just leave them alone, because they have work to do. The end. Yo! Hi! It's almost time to go. Aww. But first... Let's remember all the fun things we did today. Okay. First, Muno told us about what some bugs do. Bees make honey, they don't do it for money. And ants in your path will surely make you dance. Then, we followed the Oski bugs deep under the ground. Follow the Oski bugs, follow the little Oski bugs. Finally, we met the queen of the Oski bugs and some Oski bug babies. Little baby bugs come from little eggs. All right, today we bugged out. Yeah! yeah! Now it's time to dance. Yeah! Are you ready? Yeah! Well, let's do it. I'll break it down. Hello, bugs!
had a great time today. <laughs> Thanks for playing with us. See you next time. Bye. Here we go. Yo, Gabba Gabba! Hey everyone! Today is a great day to go on a treasure hunt with new friends! It looks like some new treasure hunting friends are starting to arrive. Wow! We're in Gabba Land! Look, it's Plex! Edith! Larry! What a surprise! It's great to see you again, Plex! Yeah, it's been a while since you visited us. It sure has! Edith and Larry, this is my friend Muno. Hi! Hello. Hello. So, what brings you to Gabba Land? This special compass is leading us on an important journey. It's leading us on a treasure hunt. A treasure hunt? Wow! That sounds like fun! A treasure hunt, you say? What kind of treasure are you looking for? Uh... We don't know exactly what it is, but we do know it's really important. Yeah, it's a treasure we need back home for everyone to share. Oh, I wonder what the treasure could be. Yes, I wonder. Treasure could be something different for everyone. The treasure could be anything. A treasure, 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 what could it be? It's different for everyone. A treasure. think of what my treasure could be. Treasure! It could be electricity. Treasure could be flames. It could be when it rains. The treasure could be golden coins or a box of games. Yeah! Well, treasure, treasure, treasure is anything. I wonder what it could become. I know what my treasure could be. know what the treasure is. The treasure could be a giant hand. The treasure could be food. Could be a piece of wood. It could be a tennis shoe or a giant bat of goo. A treasure, treasure, treasure is anything. I wonder what it could become. Wow! This treasure hunt's gonna be exciting! Yay!
my name is Mark, and today we are going to draw a treasure chest. First, we draw the shape of the chest like this. See, there we go. Now, let's draw the lock. That's looking pretty good. Seems like we're missing something. Oh, a key. Gotta have a key to open the lock. Let's draw one of those too. There. Hey, let's see what's in this treasure chest anyway. Oh, the treasure. It's so beautiful. Well, thanks for drawing with us today. See you later. I love going on treasure hunts. It looks like everyone's ready to start their own treasure hunt. This sure is exciting. Hey everyone, these are our new friends, Edith and Larry. Hello. Hi. Hi. They're here on an important treasure hunt. A treasure hunt? A treasure hunt? A treasure hunt. Yeah, we have this special compass to help us find the clues. <laughs> All right. And because you live here, we really need your help to find the treasure. We love to help. I'm good at finding things. You can count on us. So, when should we start? Right now. Yeah! 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 <laughs> I wonder if the treasure is in my land. Let's follow the compass and see. Yeah! yeah! Let's go look over there. Yay! <laughs> looking, looking, looking. Looking for the treasure. Moving, moving, moving. In the right direction. Going on a treasure hunt. Going on a treasure hunt. Look around, look down and up. Going on a treasure hunt. The treasure! No, I'm not the treasure. The famous magic treasure. Ice cold cave is right where the famous treasure is there. Ice cave? It's a clue! And there's lots of ice where I live. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Yeah! Looking, looking, looking. Looking for the treasure. Moving, moving, moving. In the right direction. Going on a treasure hunt. Going on. It's gotta be here somewhere. Let's think about all the clues. Well, Mr. Flower said it was this way. And Gobo said it was in an ice cave. We're really close. I can feel it. Hey, everybody. You know, I've got a strange keyhole on my side down there. Let's press it. It's a key! <gasps> Try it in the lock! <laughs> we found the ice cave! Yay! I can't wait to find the treasure!
It's time to do the DJ Lance Dance. Come on, let's dance. Now today, we're gonna dig for treasure. Put your foot down, dig to the side. Dig to the other side, throw the dirt. Put your foot down, dig to the side. Dig to the other side, throw the dirt. We're gonna dig for treasure. Yeah, put your foot down, dig to the side. Dig to the other side, throw the dirt. We're gonna dig for treasure. We're gonna dig for treasure. Yeah! All right! Hey everyone! The Super Music Fringe Show is on! Here's Blitzen Trapper with an all time classic, Treasure. to music is awesome! awesome! Wow! This really is exciting! They found the secret ice cave! Hmm... I wonder what the treasure could be? another magic robot. Why, yes, I am a magic robot, and I have the tre treasure that you seek. Wow! But where is the treasure? You will receive the treasure after a special dance is performed on this floor. Special dance? Yes. Only those who know the special dance can receive the tre treasure. Uh, does anybody know any special dances? Edith and Larry, show us your special dance. Let's do it! Ow! Step to the left. Step to the right. Wave your arms. Wave your arms. To the body roll. To the body roll. Step to the left. Step to the right. Wave your arms. Wave your arms. To the body roll. To the body roll. It's a treasure dance. But you need more help. More help? Plex, Muno, Tootie, Fufa, and you too, Broby. We need your help to dance. Yeah! Now it's time to step to the left, step to the right. Wave your arms, wave your arms. Do the body roll. Do the body roll. Step to the left, step to the right. Wave your arms, wave your arms. Do the body roll. Do the body roll. It's a Still need more help. Oh, 
who we're missing. Let's get this party started. Now it's time to it's the dance. dance. It's the treasure. for helping us find the treasure. We couldn't have done it without you. Finding treasure with you has been super spectacular! Now you can bring the bubbling robot back and share it with all your friends. I'm so happy to get out of this ice cave. It's a little too cool for me. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a beautiful green village deep in the rainforest. One rainy day, a magical organ was discovered that the townspeople decided to play. The sound of the magical organ turned the raindrops to gems of every color. The gems fell to the ground for everyone to have. It's a miracle, they said, and the town is filled with excitement. On rainy days, the organ could be heard all through the town. Everyone have a buckets and pans to catch the gems falling from the sky. The farmer was not happy about any of this. Rainwater is better than jewels, he said. Pretty soon, the town began to change. The leaves on the trees turned brown and fell off because plants can't survive without rainwater. But the townspeople couldn't stop collecting gems. One day, the town ran out of fruits and vegetables to eat, and everyone started to get hungry. The townspeople went to ask the farmer for help. I knew this would happen, said the farmer, but he opened up his greenhouse, and everyone was shocked to discover that while they're collecting jewels, he was growing fruits and vegetables enough for everyone. The townspeople thanked him and realized that rainwater was a treasure because it grows yummy food to eat. The end. Yo! Hi! It's almost time to go! Aww. But first, Let's remember all the fun things we did today. Yeah! First, Plex and Muno met new friends, Edith and Larry. And together, they imagined what the treasure might be. Treasure, treasure, treasure is anything. I wonder what it could become. Then, everyone joined together to find the treasure. Yeah! Finally, they all did a special dance and discovered the treasure was Vor, a magic robot. The treasure is me. Whoa. A humble blowing robot. Yeah. yeah! What a magical day. Yeah! Now it's time to dance. Yeah! Are you ready? Yeah! Well, let's do it. I'll break it down. A treasure, 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 what could it be? It's different for everyone. A treasure, treasure, treasure is anything. I wonder what it could become.
a great time today. <laughs> Thanks for playing with us. See you next time. Bye. Here we go. Yo, Gabba Gabba! Friends, it looks like Muno and Broby are building a clubhouse. <laughs> Clubhouses are so much fun. You can play inside and pretend. Let's see how they're doing. Yay! <laughs> we're almost done. Here's the last one. <laughs> oh, 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 no, I'm never getting done. I don't think these sticks are strong enough. Hey, guys, what's wrong? We're trying to build a clubhouse, but it keeps falling down. Well, maybe I can help you figure it out. What are you using to build with? Sticks we found in the forest. Hmm. It would probably stay up if you had something stronger to build with. Um, DJ Lance, do you have something stronger to build with? I sure do. I have this pile of wood that I'm not using. <gasps> All right! <laughs> yeah. All right! And here are hammers and nails to keep everything together. Wow! <laughs> Thanks, DJ Lance. This is going to be the best clubhouse ever. Yeah, our clubhouse can be anything we want it to be. Let's build a place to go and get away where we can pretend. A home away from home where we can play with all of our friends. A secret room for great-looking clubhouse. What should we play first? Let's play pirates! All right! Yes! Yeah! <laughs> My name is Harrison. My name is Solid. And, and we, we like, like to dance. dance. Hello, my name is Mark, and today we are going to draw some tools. First, let's draw a hammer. It's got a funny-looking head like this. Yeah, there we go. Now we need a screwdriver. Something like this. Great. Can't build a house without some wood, so let's draw some. There we go. Now we're ready to build a clubhouse. Well, look at that. Go for it, fellas. Wow, nice work, guys. 
That looks like a pretty fun clubhouse. Well, thanks for drawing with us today. See you later. We built a clubhouse and are pretending to be pirates. It looks like they're having a lot of fun. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Hi! Ho! <laughs> Woo there, matey! Hi! Shibby me timbits! Wow! A clubhouse! Can we come in? Uh, we built this clubhouse for our Super Adventure Club. You can only come in if you know the Super Adventure Club secret knock. <laughs> can you show it to us so we can come inside? Nope, sorry. I can only share the secret knock with Super Adventure Club members. <laughs> DJ Lance, Muno won't show us the secret knock to get inside the clubhouse. Muno, don't you think it would be more fun if everyone could play in the clubhouse? No, it's our clubhouse, so we get to say who can come in and who can't. But that's not fair. DJ Lance, can you tell Muno and Broby that they have to let us in? No, Tootie, I can't. Muno and Broby built the clubhouse themselves, so they can decide who can come in and who can't. And you can't! That's your choice, Muno. But remember, when you don't share, it might make others not want to share with you later. That's okay! See you later! See you later! <laughs> <laughs> Muno and Broby make me so mad sometimes! I'd build a clubhouse where everyone was invited. That's a great idea, Fufa! DJ Lance, will you help us build our own clubhouse? Of course. Let's head to Broby Land. We'll grab Plex along the way. Yeah! If Muno and Broby won't let us play with them, we'll just do our own thing. Yeah, we'll... clubhouse in this tree. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. This is gonna be great! <laughs> <laughs> Building tree houses is one of my special skills. Let's get started! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> and the snail. My name is Puma. I like to dance. Let's see who our Dancy Dance friend is today! <laughs> oh, wow! wow. <laughs> Hi, 
everyone. I'm Erica Badu. Hi, Hi Erica Badu. Badu. I am so glad that we're all friends. But when my friends feel a little down, I have a song and a dance that I like to do. Oh. You guys want to learn it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 All right, it goes like this. When I feel down, I sing a little song. It goes la, 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 la. <laughs> now you try it. Okay. okay. When, when I feel down, I sing a little song. It goes la, 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 la. Yeah, that's it. Okay, <laughs> now let's do it all together, all right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. to go. Aww. But maybe I'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Building a treehouse is a lot of work. We're almost finished. I wonder how Broby and Muno are enjoying their clubhouse. Now what do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? Uh, I don't know. We can play pirates again, and this time I get to wear the eye patch. But we already played pirates. Huh? What's that sound? It sounds like hammering. Someone is building something! Let's go see what it is! Uh, come on! Alright! Oh, I'm okay! <laughs> there! All finished! Yeah! Oh, it's the most <laughs> wonderful treehouse I've ever seen! It's the only treehouse I've ever seen! Why don't you go inside and check it out? Yeah! <laughs> It's beautiful. 
We helped Fufa and Tootie build this treehouse because you wouldn't let them into your clubhouse. Hey, guys. What do you think of our treehouse? It's the coolest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, the coolest. Well, have fun. We'll be in our boring little clubhouse. Where are you going? Don't you want to play inside with us? You mean, you're going to let us inside? Of course, you're our friends. But we wouldn't let you in our clubhouse. That's okay, Muno. We didn't like the way it made us feel when you wouldn't let us in your clubhouse. So we don't want you to feel the same way. to music is awesome! Yo! Hi! It's almost time to go! Aww. But first, let's remember all the fun things we did today! Yeah. Okay! First, Brovi and Muno built a clubhouse. Then, 
Tootie and Fufa learned that it can be just as fun to do your own thing. If Muno and Froby won't let us play with them, we'll just do our own thing. Finally, Roby and Muno learned it's better to include everyone when having fun. Everything is more fun, everything is more fun when you include everyone. Yeah! All right, today sure was an exciting day. Yeah! yeah! Now it's time to dance! Yeah! Are you ready? Yeah! Well, let's do it. I'll break it down. Let's build a place to go and get away. Our clubhouse is a very special place, 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 place. time today. Yeah! Thanks for playing with us. See you next time. Bye. Here we go. Yo Gabba Gabba. Hello, friends. I love animals. This is my pet rabbit, Flash. He's so cute. Fufa loves animals, too. She's playing with the Fox family right now. Look. Whee! Nice dance move. That was very fun, Fufa. But now it's time for us to go home. Come along, children. It's bath time. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye, Fufa. Bye-bye, Fox family. Aww. What's wrong, Fufa? Uh, you look a little sad. Well, I wish I had an animal to take care of. Just like how Mother Fox takes care of her pups. I know. We should give you a pet. What's a pet? A pet is a special animal that belongs to you. Great idea, Plex. My rabbit Flash is my pet. Fufa, would you like a pet, too? Oh, DJ Lance, can I have a pet? Please, pretty please. Okay, okay, Fufa. I know just the thing. But what's all this? Where's my pet? <laughs> I'm giving you a very special pet, Fufa. On that tray are magic eggs. Inside the eggs are... Magic Moki Chos. Moki Cho! Now remember, you must follow the very important rules to take good care of your pet. Right, DJ Lance. We need to know the rules first before we hatch a special Moki Cho egg. Right. Rule number one you must feed your Moki Cho twice a day with only this special Moki Cho food. Okay. Rule number two. You must give your Moki Cho lots of love and hugs. I will love my Moki Cho with all my heart. And rule number three. You should only hatch one Moki Cho. I think we are ready to hatch a Moki Cho. All right. Now say the magic words. Moki, Moki, Moki Cho. Moki, Moki, Moki Cho. That you have your Moki Cho, don't forget the very important rules. Okay. Aww. Uh, no problem, Plex. I'm gonna name him Spotty. I love my new pet, Spotty the Moki Cho. I love my pet. I love my pet, pet, pet. Do, do. Yes, you do, do. I wanna kiss and hug my pet all day long. You do. Yes, you do, do. I love animals. 
Hidey Heidi Hody. My name is Mark. Today we're gonna draw a cute little guinea pig. First, we draw the guinea pig's head. They have ears that stick up. Kind of. Like this. Little eyes. And they got cute little eyes and a nose and cute little whiskers. Next, we draw his hairy body. Just like so. Finally, the legs and paws. Guinea pigs have short legs and they have itty bitty paws. Short leg, itty bitty paw. Well, there you have it. A lovely, wonderful guinea pig. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Hey there, little buddy. <laughs> well, well, well. Looks like I have a new pet guinea pig. Thanks for drawing with us. See y'all next time. What's that? <laughs> Flash was just telling me how much Fufa loves her new Mokicho pet. We sure hope she's following all the important rules of pet care. Let's see what she's doing. Where did all these monkey chows come from? I'm hatching more. Fufa, you're not following the rules. You should only have one monkey chow. It's difficult to take care of so many. Oh, really? I forgot. <laughs> oh, dear. Fufa, where is Spuddy? <laughs> Spotty is being bouncy because you haven't given him enough love and hugs. You're right. I was so busy making more Moki Chos, I forgot about Spotty. Uh, Fufa? Another rule was to only feed Moki Chos their special Moki Cho food. But look, the new Moki Chos are eating raisins, and now they have tummy aches. Oh. Whoa! What's, What's happening? happening? Fufa, why is your pet bouncing around and swinging on vines? Oh. Yeah, and why are there so many monkey shows now? Oh no. Guys, I'm sorry. I didn't follow the rules of pet care and now all the monkey shows are going crazy. Can you help me, please? Yeah, Fufa, we'll all help and fix it. Together! Yes, together we can help. That's what friends are for. What are friends for? dance friend is today! <laughs> Whoa! Wow. Hey, everybody! My name's Rob! Hi, Hi Rob. Rob! And these are my two beautiful Whoa. bulldogs, Meaty and Beefy! <laughs> Hi. Hi! 
I've got a great dancey dance. Can I teach you? Yeah! <gasps> My dancey dance is called the Roly Poly, and it goes like this. First, you roll your hands to the side. Roll your hands to the side. Then your hands to the other side. Hands to the other side. Then you roll your whole body in a circle. Roll in a circle! And that's the Roly Poly. Oh. All right, let's all try it together. Okay. Here we go. Roll to the side, roll to the other side. Roll it, roll it. Roll to the side, roll to the other side. Roll it, roll it. Roll to the side, roll to the other side. Roll it, roll it. All right, you got it. Now it's your turn. Go crazy. Thanks for letting me teach you my dancey dance. But I gotta go. Aww. Hey, Plex, can you get Beefy and Medium Me out of here? Yes, I can. Ha <laughs> ha. Here we go. Bye. 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 Fufa loves her new pets. But it looks like she really has her hands full taking care of so many pets all by herself. Oh, it's the feeding time alarm. Time to eat everyone. Oh, is everything okay? Yeah, we heard a noise. Oh, hi guys. Sorry, that's just the feeding time alarm. It helps me remember when to feed all the monkey chose. But it is too much work to take care of all of them by yourself. Aw, hi there. Hey there, fuzzy. <laughs> I like this monkey cho. <laughs> I know. Broby, Tootie, Muno. How would you like to keep one of these as your own Mokicho pet? Oh, <laughs> but Fufa, why are you giving them to us? Well, I still love them all, but they all need special friends like you guys to help take care of them. And then I'll have more time to spend with Spotty. Great idea, Fufa. But wait. You have to promise to follow all the rules of pet care. We promise, Mufa! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a promise to my pet. I'll feed you twice a day. I promise to follow the rules every single day. A promise is a promise and a promise I keep. I can depend on you. You can depend on me. Hugs to the end, cause we are best friends. Hugs to the end, cause we are Flash, what have you got to say about that? I want a Moki Cho too, DJ Lance. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Sophie. I like to dance. Hey everyone! The Super Music Friends Show is on! You know, we all love our pets. So let's sing along with Taking Back Sunday. There are many different kinds of pets we have as friends. Let's sing about them all and the things that make them special.
soft ones like chinchillas and hard ones like turtles. But no matter what they look like, we all feel the same way. We all love our pets. 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 Listening and dancing to music is awesome! Story time! Once upon a time, there was a boy named Clyde who had a pet dog named Harry. They were best friends, and they would spend all day together. They would play fetch together. They would go on walks together. They would nap together. They would even go on car rides together. Then one day, Clyde had to go to school for the very first time. On the car ride to school, Clyde's parents explained that Harry could not go to school with him. Clyde and Harry were sad. They wanted to be together all day. When Clyde got out of the car, he hugged Harry one last time and said, Bye bye, Harry, I'll miss you. Harry barked <laughs> and licked Clyde's cheek, which cheered Clyde up. That day during school, Clyde thought about Harry a lot and drew a picture of him. It was such a nice picture that the teacher gave him a gold star. And everyone cheered, yay! After school was over, Clyde showed his drawing to Harry. Harry liked it so much he barked, <laughs> ran in circles, and did a big jump for joy. The end! It's almost time to go. Aww. But first, let's remember all the fun things we did today. Okay. Yeah. First, Fufa got a new pet called a Magic Mokicho. I love my new pet, Spotty the Mokicho. Then, when Fufa didn't follow the rules, the Mokichos got a little too wild. Finally, everyone helped Fufa and got their own pets. I promise to my pet, I will always follow the rules. Today was such a fur-tastic day. Yeah! Now it's time to dance. Yeah! Are you ready? Yeah! Well, let's do it. I'll break it down. So much fun today! Yeah! Thanks for playing with us. See you next time. Bye! Here we go. Yo Gabba Gabba!
everyone. It sounds like a parade is marching into Gabaland. But look, there's only one person in the parade. I wonder what's going on. Circus parade, let's march in the parade. Hip, hip, hooray, it's time for the parade. Well, hello everyone. I'm the ringmaster. Hi! What's a ringmaster? Good question. Well, a ringmaster does the grand introduction of all the different acts in a circus. A circus? Wow! I love the circus. Where's the circus? I want to go! Right now, uh, I don't really have any acts for the circus, but, but I'm marching around looking for circus performers to help. Well, Mr. Ringmaster, we could learn to be circus performers. Really? Yeah! You could help me? Yeah! You want to perform in the circus? Yeah! <laughs> wow! That would be so great! It would be really fun. I could play that piano you have. Oh, yeah. This thing is called a calliope. It has a very unique sound. Wow! I want to train acrobats on a flying trapeze. I want to be a clown because they are so funny. But I don't know how to be a clown. Well, all it takes is a little help from a teacher. And I just happen to be an amazing clown teacher. Yay! I want to be a clown too! But the kind that just pretends and doesn't talk. Oh, you want to be a mime. Sure, why not? Yeah! Mr. Ringmaster, I want to wear fancy clothes and twirl a baton. Why, yes. That job is called the drum major. Drum majors spin the baton and lead the band. And I just happen to have a baton right here. Oh, wow. I would love to be the drum major and lead the band. Oh, <laughs> and you know what else? The drum major also leads the parade. So why don't you lead us in a big circus parade? Mime Dancy Dance! Yeah! 
Let's see who our Dancy Dance friend is today! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi everybody, my name is Sarah and I know a lot about mimes. Would you like to learn a mime Dancy Dance? Yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> the first thing to know is that mimes are amazing, okay? <laughs> they do everything without even speaking a word. So Muno, you're the mime. Okay. So for this Dancy Dance, you don't talk or sing, all right? Okay! Oh. First, we're gonna pretend we're in a box. So we'll put our hands on the walls and on the ceiling and then open the door. Then we're gonna lean over and pull ourselves up like with a rope. All right, Muno, it's mime time. All right! <laughs> Are you ready to mime? It's time to mime now, it's time to mime! Hands on the front. Hands on the front. Hands on the side. Hands on the side. I've always wanted to join the circus, and now I get the chance. Shh. My part is going to be a surprise. It looks like everyone is practicing their parts. Now all we need is a big place to show everyone our circus. This big tent is called the Big Top. It's where we can all see the circus. Wow, Muno, you're doing a great job as a mime. Oh, thanks! Shh, no speaking. A mime doesn't talk with words. They communicate only with their body and their face. So, oh, you got it, Muno. Keep practicing. Wow, acrobat bugs. Yeah, the Ostie bugs are natural acrobats. Looking great, Tootie. Hey, nice baton twirling, Fufa. Oh, thank you, Mr. Ringmaster. That calliope sounding great, Plex. Yes, it plays just like a piano. Keep playing. What's the matter, Broby? I want to be a clown, but I don't know how. Well, I guess it's time for me to teach you the art of becoming a clown. Clowns are a very important part of the circus. They make everyone laugh. I love to laugh. <laughs> I love to laugh too. So let's learn how to be a clown. First, let's shake on it. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> hey, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. Whoa, <laughs> you're strong, Broby. <laughs> you're funny. You're funny too and you're already well on your way to becoming a clown. All right. Now, to become a clown, you're gonna need a few things. Yeah, woohoo, yeah, okay. To be a clown, you need a big new face. One that's happy in every place. Become a clown now. Great, Broby Clown. Let's see what's next. Yes, you need some clown clothes. 
to be a clown, you need colorful clothes. Bright and crazy, just like your new nose. You're a clown now. They'll all say wow. Wow, how To be a clown, I need colorful clothes. Bright and crazy, just like my new nose. I'm a clown now. Are you okay in there? Broby, now that you're a real clown, I have a special clown present just for you. A clown present for me? All right. It's really good. I hope you like it. Aw, oh, thanks. <laughs> a pie in the face is the best clown present ever. <laughs> oh, huh? <laughs> we love pie! <laughs> My name is Kaden. I like to dance. Hello! My name is Mark, and today we are going to draw a hoop, just like in the circus. So let's draw one. First, we're going to need a strong base to hold up our hoop, like this. Uh -huh. Let's draw the hoop itself. It's round like this. There we go. Hey, I think it's time to try jumping through this hoop. Whoa. All right, Mark, be brave. Okay, here I go. Yes, I made it. Well, thanks for drawing with us today. See you later. Woo! It's time to start the circus. Step right up to the big top for the greatest show you'll ever see. Come one, come on. Don't be late. The show is just about to begin. Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, prepare yourselves for the greatest, most extremely amazing and awesomely entertaining circus the world has ever known. It's the Yo Gabba Gabba Circus! And now, for the first attraction of the night, introducing the magical plex with the Yo Dazzler Band and led by the marvelous drum major, Fufa!
Ready? <gasps> Five, four, three, two, one! Yeah! All right! Hooray! Whoa! Yeah! All right! Thanks to all of you for making such a spectacular circus. And thank you so much, Mr. Ringmaster, for bringing the circus to Gabaland. Yeah, and thanks for teaching me how to be a clown. Now I have a special clown present for DJ Lance. For me? <laughs> <laughs> singing their dance party hit, We Love Clowns! <laughs> What's a clown? Happy clown. What's a clown? Dancey clown. What's a clown? Happy clown. What's a clown? Dancey clown. We love clowns. They have a painted face with a smile or a frown Dancing the silly songs, bouncing up and down They give their nose a honk and you give them a giggle A spray from the south to can will make you wiggle What's a clown? Happy clown What's a clown? Dancy clown What's a clown? Happy clown What's a clown? Dancy clown They ride around in circles on bikes so very tiny Wearing big red shoes so very bright and shiny A rainbow wig and baggy trousers Help from falling to the ground by really strong suspenders What's a clown? Happy clown What's a clown? Dancy clown What's a clown? Happy clown What's a clown? Dancy clown and dancing to music is awesome! Knock, knock, joke of the day. Knock, knock. Who's there? Lion. Lion who? Lion on your doorstep. Open up! Knock, knock, joke of the day. It's almost time to go. Aww. But first, let's remember all the fun things we did today. Yeah. First, we met the ringmaster and decided to all help make a circus. You can help me? Yeah. You want to perform in the circus? Yeah. Yeah. Then, everyone practiced, especially Broby, who learned how to be a clown. I'm a clown! Yay! <laughs> Finally, everyone got to perform in the circus. We're all here at the circus. Today was such a fun circus day. Yeah. Now it's time to dance. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Well, let's do it. I'll break it down. Circus. 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 In a circus. We're all
see you next time. Bye! Here we go. Yo!